welcome back to us always so today we finally decided to make some dinner it's been a while we've been eating out so much so we thought that we'd um make a food vlog for you guys because we haven't made this in a while but we made it once since we lived here yeah but it is a bomb ass dish so this Very recipe bomb. is called cajun ribs but in spanish in spanish you could make them as costillas and salsa roja or costillas and salsa verde. Today we will be making it in green salsa. That's what we like. That's what I like. Okay, so I'm gonna name the ingredients you will be using and then I'm gonna go to your seasonings. But then I will be um, going and then listing everything you'll, you will be needing down in the descriptions. So mm -hmm. to make the salsa, you're gonna need two pounds of tomatillos green ones i don't know if they make it any other color but two pounds of this and half a head of yellow onion two garlic cloves two of them four whole jalapenos i did cut off the tips already and then 12 whole serranos but i cut off the tip and then i cut them in halves because these were pretty long and you need four jalapenos and then 12 serrano. serrano peppers but you can go ahead and just we're gonna go ahead and throw on um, the tomatillos and everything i listed on this plate to boil right now and then when soft we will throw everything in the blender and blend that all up for you guys but if you do not like it too spicy um then i guess like cut it in half yeah like use I, I would make all of it and then just slowly start putting it in the blender to see like how spicy you like it and then also for the salsa you will need one bunch i already went and cut off the the ends out cilantro. but you need one bunch of cilantro and then later on when i'm going to show you guys um when i mix when i blend up um the, the salsa you're going to need some cosome and then some salt we're going to go ahead and throw it to boil real quick and then as we're letting that boil, we'll go ahead and name the seasonings that Bo will be using to season the ribs. Oh, that's hot. Exactly. <laughs> you throw, no, you don't throw the garlic in there. Oh no, not the garlic, sorry. Just the chiles, the onion, and the tomatillos. <gasps> uh oh. The oil, because the oil is hot. Ooh. Yeah. We will be letting the the tomatillos, the jalapenos, the serranos, and the onion um, to boil. Like, just let it boil for like 15-20 minutes until it's like completely soft. And then we'll get back to that when we throw it all in the blender. So our next thing is, put those other two seasonings to the side. What you will be needing is... Five pounds. Okay, that we were making five pounds. Because we love this leftover, like we could eat it tonight and then eat it again twice tomorrow. So we go off five pounds of, what are these called babe? They're pork spare ribs, but you get it cut up in little squares. Pork spare ribs, but you get it cut up like in those little rectangles. Little squares, like the no. inch, inch and a half? Yeah. Basically. If they don't cut them up at the butcher, you should be able to go to like hey. Vallarta like and they'll do it for you. What? Yeah, we got it at Vallarta, so they did it for us there. And then for seasonings. No, no. You want your hard hat? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Damon so, wanted his hard hat. For seasonings, I'm going to be naming everything, but right now when Bo shows you guys how he seasons his um, ribs, um, he's going to tell you, okay, one teaspoon, two teaspoons, to be honest, blah, 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 because he eyeballs it. Yeah. But to make it easier for you guys, he'll be using Damn. a teaspoon or a tablespoon, whatever he's using. Okay, so for the seasoning of the ribs, you'll be needing garlic powder garlic salt, lemon pepper seasoning, onion powder, Cajun peppers, crushed red pepper, Himalayan pink salt, and of course you can't forget the black pepper. And then in this pot, Bo has already oil preheating to cook the ribs in it to basically give it like a little deep fry, right? Yeah, you fry them. You fry it, but it's like deep frying it, right? Yeah, basically like deep frying it. 
Like, you fry it till they're basically done. Yeah, but how much oil would you season it's it? It's a whole uh, quart. A whole quart? Yeah. Basically a whole quart. <coughs> you gotta submerge the yeah. ribs in oil. Okay, so if you guys are excited about the costillas in salsa verde, if you guys are excited about this recipe, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can see what goes doing. Season these delicious ribs. Let me see. So we'll go a tablespoon of pepper. I gotta figure this out. Say it loud, babe, because it's in Turn off your thing, please. So a tablespoon of pepper. Just throw that around there. Uh oh. What was that? What are you doing? You're playing with that? Here. <coughs> and then a tablespoon of garlic salt. Here. 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 Put it over there. But see, this is for this is for five pounds. So I would think if you go like two and a half pounds, like Put a half a tablespoon of seasoning, I would say, roughly. So lemon pepper. I'm gonna go half a tablespoon of lemon pepper. And because we like our stuff spicy, I'll probably go a tablespoon and a half of cayenne pepper. So there's one and a half. Oh, shit. And then onion powder. I'll probably go a half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon. There you go. And then a tablespoon of crushed red peppers. Because remember, we like it spicy. We like our buttholes to burn. <laughs> Did I put garlic powder already? No. Because you're moving it to the right. Okay. I didn't hear you say garlic powder. So then you I have onion powder. Half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Damn, it's hard. Yeah, I can't see shit. That's probably half. I eyeball everything. And then some pink Himalayan salt. Just a few turns. And then you just mix it all together. Mm hmm Look at these hands do. Before when me and Maria first met, she used to always asked me. What them hands do. This is what they do right here. They do magic. Oh! Get back in there. Huh? Wanna see? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell mine to pick you up. So now, since it's all mixed up. Ready to go? Mom, be careful, hands. you're gonna smash your finger in it. And that is what it's supposed to look like when it's all seasoned up. Bomb. Okay, so we already got our oil. It's remember it's one pint. Or wait, one quart. I'm sorry, one pint. What the hell am I thinking? So now it's probably I would say it's like 350 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and just throw all of these delicious ribs in here. So make sure you do it slow because there's moisture in it. Look at that. If you were to throw it all in there, probably would have started fire. I don't got my hard hat on. Where's my safety at? So you need my hard hat. Anyways, let's get back to it. Take your time. Nobody's in a rush, guys. Everything's worth the wait. That's what you used to tell me all the time. Yeah, I did. I'm like, babe, don't trip. Let me get married. 
It'll be all worth it. I wish I could say it was worth it. The fuck? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit! Yeah, we might need a bigger pot. <laughs> that so looks now, so delicious. So now what we're going to do is we literally have to wait. I'm going to turn the heat back up because with all that meat, it's going to drop the heat on it. But now we're going to cook it for, I'd say, about 45 minutes probably. You'll know when the ribs are done, when they fall off the bone. Okay, so right now we have the ribs frying. We have... All the chile and the tomatillos boiling. We got my beautiful queen right here pregnant. I did that. With my help. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna fry or fry the rib lips. Rib lip, lip, lip lips. I'd say like 45 minutes. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. And let's fall off the bone. Huh, babe? Yeah, I'm tired. Can I take a nap? Yeah. I already got the rice cooked already. Yeah, because if it, this video would have been like two hours. Mm, if so, we would have showed you guys this whole meal. Literally, this this whole meal probably takes like an hour and a half. So I can show you guys my rice recipe too, if you guys like that. I learned it from Bo's mama. This recipe is actually kind of um, like my mom's, but then my mom and dad kind of learned it from my brother and my sister-in-law. So I don't really know. We just it just depends on like what salsa you top it off with. It's you can actually different. make this with any salsa that you want. And in reality, just make a salsa that you like and just we'll show you guys how to put it together. Yeah. So we'll be right back. We're gonna finish letting the the salsa stuff boil and then let the ribs cook and then we will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, now that we have like everything nice and soft, I'm gonna go ahead and pour everything no. that I have there. No. Well, maybe not everything because we don't want all that water and then go ahead and no. put it into a blender. So I'm gonna zip you guys in so you guys can see. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a spoon. And it's okay to get water in there because you do want the water. But I'm basically going to pour everything I'm cooking you with all the chile. Okay, once you have that all in the blender, you're also going to add the two garlic cloves and then that all the cilantro that we cut in the beginning. And then on top of that, I'm gonna add salt to taste and just pour everything on top. And then a spoonful of posome. I'm gonna do like a spoonful and a half. It's gonna get loud guys, it's gonna get loud. Once it looks blended, I'm going to go ahead and just taste it. You want the phone? The phone? Bomb! Is it? Yeah. 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 Oh my god, that dinner. salsa came out fucking A1! Can't even see me. You're right. But I'm too short. No, you're right there perfect. It's because you got a big old head. Excuse me? Yeah, big old fucking mascara. Anyways, I'm excited because that shit is bomb. Your mama calling you. The update on what, <laughs> no, the, what the ribs look like, Hello? check it out. So the ribs, it's frying up. Look at that. It's been about 30 minutes. 
and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it gets done. What up? Yo. Now anyway, so we've been cooking the ribs probably a little longer than 45 minutes. I think it's because we got a lot in the pot. So it's probably been about an hour. So they should look like this. Do you guys hear the ass smack? Come this way. You guys want to see what it looks like? Come on. Why are you saying forever? Come on. I'm waiting. Come on. See how it looks like the bone's coming out? Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. See that? You see that? Okay, so Bo went ahead and got a strainer and then a plate with a napkin in between the plate and the strainer. And then he's going to go ahead and just put the ribs in here. That way it catches all the oil because we don't need the oil because we're going to be using this big pot to um, add the salsa into the ribs. And basically, voila, you have your dish, huh? Yeah, you just saute it for a little bit. Just to get like the water out of the salsa. It'll become, <coughs> it'll become like thick. Y'all see right now. Bo already got rid of the oil and we're gonna throw the the strained ribs back into that pot. Oh shit. But put the heat on like medium, like low. So the meat, I mean the heat on medium low? Yeah, so you just throw it in there like, like so. Get the salsa and just Bam. We hardly ever use all the salsa huh? Yeah. But we end up using the salsa for like other things too. Oh yeah, that's spicy. See, then just mix it. And then you let it cook for a little bit. And then when it cooks, the salsa will thicken up. Look at that. And that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so that concludes our food vlog of Cajun ribs with green salsa slash costillas and salsa verde. Um, we hope that you guys enjoyed this food vlog. And like I said, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below. And turn your post notifications on. Turn your post notifications on and also comment your thoughts and then what other food vlogs you guys would like to see in the future. And we will see you guys in our next video. Deuces.